Hello everybody, welcome to Production Music Live. My name is Guido, I'm over from Cat and & Beats and today I have a fun little device to share with you guys. You can download that in the description below, by the way. And I'm working with a Production Music Live file called Panorama Bar, which you can also download in the description below. So make sure to give that a look. Anyway, this device is free and it is awesome. What it does, it's a Boots & Cats device for people that don't know what Boots & Cats is. It's literally that four to the floor type of side chaining feel, boots and cats and boots and cats and boots, that type of vibe. The only thing you have to do is add more boots and the more boots you add, the more boots and cats you get at the end. Let me show you what I mean. So right now we have this. All right, so super easy. You just put in the amount of that four to the floor type of sound you want to have, and that's pretty much it. But for the guys that know me, you know that we always go a couple of steps extra because it's fun to do. The Boots and Cats thing, it's not limited to having one thing overall. You can also put like two Boots and Cats. So if you put two Boots and Cats, there's different knobs. For instance, this Rate knob or Flip It knob. If you want to change some things to change the rhythm, what you can do is you can move the rate knob and the rate knob corresponds with the shaper and then the actual rate on which the side chaining happens. So for instance, if I would put a 1 12th ahead of the uh, Boots and Cats that's on a 1 4th, I can get this really heavy 1 12th ducking triplet feel. Okay, watch this. Uh, I'll just do this by itself for a second because otherwise it's too much. Okay, so then we have a triplet Boots and Cats. All right, let's continue going with this thing. You can also say, you know, let's flip this thing the other way around. So instead of it going Boots and Cats, it'll be Boots and Boots and Boots. No, just Boots, Boots, Boots. <laughs> Leather Boots. Anyway. All right. Cool. Now, the main reason I really like this thing is because I use it uh, a lot in, in productions. And if you would compare this to LFO Tour or Kick, there isn't just one knob that you can easily um, automate. So, for instance, if I want to have more boots at the end of the, the, the thing here, I can just slowly go up. <laughs> So that's really nice for when you, for instance, hit breaks and things like that. So automation wise, that's really nice for Ableton itself. And another thing that you can start doing is because it's so simple, you can start thinking, you know, how about if I add a creative effect uh, track here and let's just get a reverb on there so that we have a tail to work with and we're gonna make it a really heavy effect. So let's just put a long decay time and we're gonna take this little drum rack that's over here. We're gonna send it hard as hell at the end, right there into this reverb over here. And then you get this type of sound. That's nice. If we just do that in the mix. It's gonna accentuate that by making it super loud. Great. Now what you can start doing is you can start automating different things into uh, that Boots and Cats device. For instance, if I want to continue going with the one, two, three, four Boots, Boots and Boots and Boots, that's cool. So I can then add that to this. I can also change the rate. I can also think to myself, hey, how about we go a little bit crazy? And instead of just having one parameter for the shaper, I can also click on the laundry list and add any of these parameters as well to any device I want to. So for instance, if you have like uh, flux devices, so if we take the the audio plugins from here and let's just take the uh, frequency uh, shifter and we're gonna take the frequency shifter and we're gonna take this fine knob, map it to this.
just to make make sure it start, starts getting a bit weird, we can take the um, erosion device as well, just to get a little bit of disgusting sounds at the end. Okay, so let's do this. Let's take the amount knob. Let's map the amount knob right there. And we can also change the, the, the rate again if we just like... Okay, cool. Let's also drop in a little bit of reverb at the end of that, just to make sure that it's not too... Ta -ta 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 -ta. And if we think to ourselves, well, that erosion amount is a little bit too much, I can just make the erosion amount a little bit less. Isn't that cool? And if you wanted to, you can even start like left, right panning this thing. But you can also uh, actually do that with the auto pan, so that makes no sense. Um, so yeah, as you can see, you can start adding different things in here and then you can make your own effects that constantly move as well via just sending it into a reverb really fast. So I hope you've enjoyed this little session. Make sure to download the Boots and Cats, use it all over the place, and uh, look forward to seeing your project files if you need them mixed with this little Boots and Cat device. <laughs> okay, take care, everybody. Much love and have a lovely day.